Hey, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to learn about how to create, access, and view YouTube playlists. So before we start, let's look at the very bottom of the screen. There's a little icon that's a circular and it says U. Um, right after home, shortcuts, subscriptions, U. So we're going to click on that U. You want to make sure that you're signed in. Without a sign in uh, for YouTube, you cannot create a playlist. You cannot save a playlist. Um, you may be able to view past playlists like within your history, but it really doesn't help you save a lot without an account. The accounts are free once you have your account, once you have a login, uh, which if you're on a television or a computer, this little U icon, it may be at the top right corner versus the bottom right. So just look around for it. You'll definitely see it. When you first click on the U icon, it'll take you to your history. Uh, if you scroll down just a little bit, you'll see playlist here. And where you can scroll um, this way or click view all. And one little neat thing that I do is if you put an emoji next to the name, it will pop your playlist to the very top. So if you need to access quickly, that's a good way to save it. Numbers also are saved at the top, but they're actually saved after the emojis. So you see the little star Sunday morning or the music notes, those pop up before the numbers. Okay, so now that you know where your playlists are, um, and you want, maybe you want to create a playlist. Let's go back to home. So at the very bottom of the screen, you'll see the little house. Click on that. And let's say you want to save um, this video here at the top. So you see the name of the video, Pat Barrett, Kane, Beautiful. Next to Beautiful are the three little dots. So you want to click on those. And you'll have these options pop up. The third one down says Save to Playlist. You can also save to Watch Later. And that just rolls in your Watch Later playlists. Um, I can show you where that's at the end of the video but you wanna click on the third one down, save to playlist. So once that pops up, it'll have all of your past saved playlist. You wanna create a new one, which we'll click new playlist. And let's just call this upcoming songs. You can type in however you want. You can add an emoji. Next, you go to private. If you click on public, that means anyone can view. If you click on unlisted, that means anyone with a link can view. If you click on private, that means only you can view it. So you might ask, well, why would you have unlisted? That is um, specifically for, I use it for my choir. So everybody can't see it when they pull up my YouTube page, but my choir has a link and they can always pick it up with that link and view it. Uh, public is for anyone. So let's say for instance, you're creating a playlist for maybe workout music and you want anybody to be able to type in Christian workout songs. So in that case, they type it into the YouTube playlist and they'll see your whole entire list. Um, it's really helpful if you're looking for something specific to have somebody who has created a playlist. So that's totally up to you. If you want it private for no one to view, that's fine. Um, I'm going to say this is unlisted and hit create. Create is on the right, cancels on the left. So let's create that playlist. At the bottom, it says playlist created, see list. We're going to click over to you again just to take you back. These are all your playlists. This one says upcoming songs. I had already created that one. So that's not the list we just created. But if you, we scroll down to the very bottom, it's gonna be somewhere in here. There we go, upcoming songs, you see it there. If you hit back and go out of this, that is where you'll see history. Uh, this is where you'll find your watch later. So watch later is just kind of like if you find something you wanna watch it next time you open YouTube, it'll pop up and it'll probably be one of the um, first things that pop up when you pull YouTube up in the future. So watch later. There it is at the very bottom of the list. Watch later. Um, so that's the end of the tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it here um, in the comment section. I'd love to help you in the future. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you next time.